Good afternoon. It's the clash of the titans that fans on both sides of the border have been awaiting for the entire tournament. You can see from this live shot of the Peace Bridge that fans are already starting to pack the crossings for tonight's matchup between Team USA and Team Canada. Organizers are expecting what might be the largest crowd of the tournament, and tickets are going fast. Simon at HSBC Arena with the latest on that, Anthony. Well, Victoria, it's quiet inside the arena now, but come 7.30, that's definitely not going to be the case. Now, I know a lot of fans were hoping that this game would take place in the finals and not in the semifinals, but regardless, expect tonight's matchup to be the largest and loudest crowd of the championship. Thank you for letting us be part. For the second year in a row, the Canadian and U.S. junior hockey teams will battle each other for a chance to take home the gold medal. Team Canada has flexed its muscles in the past as the premier country for hockey, winning their first World Hockey Tournament in 1920 and winning the most out of any other country. But at last year's World Juniors, the Americans took down the Canucks in a thrilling overtime game to not only claim gold, but deny Canada of what would have been their sixth championship in a row. And no matter the stage, whenever the North American neighbors meet on the ice, there's always excitement and anticipation. Yeah, all the way through men's, women's, juniors, it's all the way through. Definitely a good rivalry. And the border's so close, it's good hockey. So. As soon as Canada finished off Switzerland 4-1 last night, all anyone could talk about was the upcoming rematch. Canada. Tomorrow, baby, USA. I want to see a USA and Canada face each other again. Canadians remain confident they'll come out on top. Of course, us. A uh, couple gold medals in the Olympics, so we'll ride that through the juniors, too. A lot of fun once again. That game starts at HSBC Arena here at 7.30 with Russia-Sweden playing at 3.30. We, of course, will have all the highlights coming up later tonight on News 4 at 5 and 6 and on our website at WIVB.com. Inside the HSBC Arena, I'm Anthony Kanji, News 4 at noon. As you can imagine, the trash talk is going strong on our Facebook page this morning. Julie tells us she's really hoping for a repeat of t for Team USA. And Jeremy is looking forward to the Sabres prospects on the ice saying, I'll be happy either way. Zach Cassian and Marcus Foligno are awesome.